Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. How's everybody? All right. Give me just one second. Thank you. All right. How's everybody? I'm sorry. I'm running a little bit late today, but um, thank God it's Friday, TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Some quick um, notices and announcements for today. I um, want to remind you that we have our worship service on Sunday at 1045. I'll be concluding a trilogy of sermons that I developed for this season, which is Lent, which is the 40-day period that we walk with our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, towards Calvary. And so we are endeavoring to... Um, Whoops, I lost you. Let me see if I can get you back. There we are. Um, we're endeavoring to prepare um, for Resurrection Sunday. This is the time that we want to be introspective. We want to ask God to help us to search our hearts, that our hearts might be in the right place with God. We want to be retrospective. We want to look back and see where God has brought us from. God has been good. I mean, two years, if you're still alive, we've lost over a million people to this COVID-19 um, pandemic. But if you are listening to me this morning and you are alive, that's a reason right there to give God praise, honor, and glory. And then we want to be projective. We want to look forward to where we want to be. I don't know what, about you, but I want to be in a closer and deeper walk with the one who has called us out of darkness into the marvelous light. Also, I want to um, ask you to continue to pray for my family and I as we say goodbye to one of our dear friends, Dr. Sam Simeon, Samuel Simeon. And that service is going to be here at the church on Friday, on Friday the 25th, on Friday the 25th at 7 o'clock. So I hope that you will um, clear your calendar to, in fact, join us um, and be prayerful and pray for the family. There's two wonderful sons. They are my God sons. And so we want to pray that God will do what God can do. And make real the words of Jesus. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. All right, I'm not going to keep you long today. Let's go quickly to the word, and then I'll greet some of you on the back end. Um, I hope you're, do, you're following our meditation booklet here. Here it is, Lent, um, 40 days. And I'm going to be utilizing the scriptures that are found in the meditation book. And I think that for today, I'm going to read right out of the meditation for us. And what the author wants us to know today is that our citizenship is in heaven. Philippians chapter 3, verse 20. Our citizenship is in heaven. We look forward to a savior that comes from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, this is not our home, but our permanent home. We're just here temporarily. And that's why you got to make every day count. Let's read the meditation as it is written in the Lenten uh, meditation booklet today. For immigrants like me, having citizenship here in the United States often determines the quality of many opportunities available, especially when it comes to political participation. When I was naturalized as a citizen, I was relieved and overjoyed that I could finally claim myself as a citizen of this country I call home. However, I'm one of the privileged immigrants to have citizenship and call this place home. There are many on the margins of society who are denied the same opportunities that I have. And we know that with all of the issues that we have in this country, it's still one of the best places in the world to live. And of course, we have a congregation of many immigrants that have come from other places. But praise God that we're in this place where we can vote. We have the freedom of speech. Um, we have the freedom of press. And we see where our people all over the world are being oppressed, especially as we look at what's happening in Russia um, as they just decided to invade a sovereign country. And these people are fleeing from their lives into places like Poland and Romania and even to the United States looking for a place to call home. So thank God um, that things are as well as they are. Of course, they could be better, but let's just thank God. I've discovered now that we need to sometimes just count our blessings 
name them one by one, count our many blessings and see what God has done. The Apostle Paul was speaking to the Philippians, at least some of who were privileged with Roman citizenship. Most Jews at that time did not have Roman citizenship. Jesus among them. Jesus himself was an outcast. Roman citizenship conveyed many privileges and protection that others in the Roman Empire did not have. It's important to keep this context in mind as we read Paul's teaching about the citizenship status of those who follow Jesus. He reminded the Philippians that their most important benefits as well as their responsibilities were based on their heavenly citizenship. Their ultimate allegiance is to the kingdom of God and it is their sacred responsibility to commit their citizenship for the sake of his kingdom and authority. If we are called to live out God's purpose here on earth as it is in heaven, then all that we have, even our earthly citizenship, whatever the status, we're called to surrender before the feet of Jesus. In other words, this is a temporary place. We thank God for these things, but really the important thing is to be in the right relationship with God. I mean, the Bible clearly says, how can you say you love God whom you've never seen and mistreat your brothers and sisters whom you see every day? If we learn to treat our brothers and sisters right, if we learn to follow the principles of God, then our citizenship in heaven is assured and we're also ensured to have an even better time while we're in our temporary home here on earth. And so we give God praise, honor, and glory for what God has done. We're going to close there. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Thank God it's Friday. Listen, the weather is beautiful outside. Please, um, please um, try to go out, get some sunshine. And as I said, you know, the numbers are lessening now. Our church is open. We've been open since August. We're still going to practice social distancing. We're still going to do all of the mandates. But this is the time. If you've been vaccinated, you've been boosted, you need to come out from amongst them. The Bible says, forget not the assembling yourselves together and so much more as you see the day approaching. We thank God for the convenience of being able to worship from home, but you need to get to church. I'm going to be looking for you on Sunday. Of course, if you have other reasons that you can't come, we're going to continue to have this hybrid model. But let me tell you, as I was teaching in Bible study on Wednesday night, and we preached out of the, we taught out of the book of Ezra, where they were in exile in Babylon, and God now had allowed them to be free, and they were able to come back into Jerusalem, and they had spent time um, and money and resources to build the temple. And they were so pleased with what God had done and the fact that they were now liberated. They found themselves in the house of God, giving God praise, honor, and glory because he's worthy to be praised. If you believe that he's worthy to be praised, then you ought not be laying down in your bed praising God. You know, at Bedside Baptist, you need to get yourself up, get your life together and make your way to the house of God. And even if you're going to be watching virtually, then you still ought to give God honor and glory by getting up, paying attention, being engaged in the worship experience. The Bible says, let us praise God together. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together because in unity there is strength and God inhabits the praises of his people. Well, God bless you. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear God, for this time together, we give you thanks and for your word that's so pregnant with truth and power that gives birth as we yet try to understand it. We give you thanks. Now, God bless each person in the sound of my voice. You know every need, every concern, every problem that we have. We don't come to tell you how big our problems are, but we tell our problems how big our God is. Our God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we're able to ask or think. Oh God, we love you, we praise you, we adore you, we magnify you, and we give you glory. Our testimony is that there is no God like our God. Hear our prayer now, incline your ear to us. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, let me go ahead and greet some of you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Always delighted to see you. Sister Wanda Boston, we haven't talked in a minute. Sister Phyllis Laria, 
Angela Thornton, how are you? Leroy Rutherford, good to see you. Thank you, Florencia. Angela Kelly, how are you? Minister Valerie Ellis, good to see you. Natalie Crawford, thank you for always being there. Sister Mary Johnson, Sister Mary Lawrence, good to see you. Sister Shirley Millard, good to see you. Sister Gloria Park and Clark, good to see each and every one of you. My friend Carmen um, Williams, that's my running partner. She's trying to get me in shape. We got to get in shape for the summer because spring is right around the corner. Well, God bless you. I've enjoyed this time together. I'm going to look for you on Sunday. All right. Get outside. Take a deep breath. Join David when he says, let everyone, let everything that includes us that have breath, praise the Lord. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance. May he grant you his peace and his love. And you're going in and you're going out and you're down sitting and you're uprising till we shall stand in his presence through Jesus the Christ, to whom be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. Amen. Remember, God loves you and so do I. Have a fabulous weekend.